It was a very hot day at Silver Hatch. Big Chris and Mr. Carbretta were relaxing. Ah, everything mm. is in a perfect order, mm. eh, Big Chris? Isn't Marsha wonderful? She is uh, so organized and efficient, you know? You're telling me, Carby. She's always going on at me about doing me paperwork, but you know something? <sighs> she slipped up last night. Oh, she forgot to lock her office up before she went home. It's all right, though. I noticed it on my evening stroll and I locked it up for her. What? Ah! Marcia left oh. her office unlocked, oh. but it's a full of expensive oh. equipment. She must always remember to lock up. Uh, well, she must have had a lot on her mind. You know how it is. I, I, I'm sure it won't happen again. Uh, I think I need to have a few words with Marcia. Oh. Oh. oh, dear. Me and my big mouth. I hope I haven't got Marcia into trouble. What have I said? I'd better go and check on the cars before I get into trouble and all. There you go, Drifter. Sorted. Well, oh, let's give it a go. Marsha is looking for you, Big Chris. Hey? There's something about not locking the office door. <gasps> oh, no. She must be cross with me for getting her into trouble with Mr Carburetta. Um, uh, I've just remembered. I might have left the lights on in Rusty. I'd better go and check. Big Chris? Mm. Big Chris! Shh, comes the word, Essel. Get out, Big Chris! I. Oh! Where's he gone, Rory? Uh, oh, well. Tell him I want a word if you see him. Oh, Mr. Carburetta wants me to stay late tonight to check every door in Silver Hatch. I'm going to miss a special dinner party. Oh, crumbs. Plugger? Have you seen Big Chris? Plugger! Plugger! Oh, where's Big Chris, Plugger? Sorry. Plugger is trusty. Try looking in Rusty. Big Chris! She's here. Big Chris! Uh, did you know Marsha's outside looking for you? Shh, don't answer that. I'm looking for Big Chris. Is he in, Malcolm? Um, uh, I don't, uh... Can't stop! Uh, Too busy! Bye! Eh? What's up with him? <gasps> oh, what am I going to do? Ah, flash his skateboard. Big Chris! Huh? Where's my skateboard? Ah, the brakes are broken! I was just about to fix them! Come back here, Big Chris! Uh-oh! Turn, turn! What's wrong with the brakes? Whoa! Oh. Where's he gone? Big Chris! I want a word with you! Oh, I think... But I don't want a word with you, Marcia. You'll just have a go at me for telling tales on you to Mr Carburetta. Oh, my poor bottom. There you go, Flash. Sorry about borrowing your skateboard at short notice. That's OK. Thanks for mending my brakes. <laughs> Flash! Flash! <laughs> Ooh, my bottom. That sounded like Marsha's voice. Where are you? Big Chris, why don't you answer, you silly... I'm not answering. Marsha's hopping mad with me. <laughs> well, she did say that Mr Carburetta has made her stay behind tonight to check the doors, and so she'll miss some special dinner party. She what? Oh, I guess worse by the minute. Oh, 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 that's... What's the matter? Oh, it's a long story, so... Listen, what am I going to do about Marsha? I can't hide from her all day long. Maybe you should do something for her to say that you're sorry. Mm. That's an idea. What could I do? I know! What? You know! Ah, that's a champion idea! Oh, Rory, me old son, you're my number one star. Oh, I 
can't understand why Big Chris has been avoiding me all day. Ah, Marsha, I'm just off in a heli now, but I wanted to say sorry for going up at the ceiling earlier. You do a fantastic job for me here, and I know that you didn't mean to leave the office unlocked. Thanks. And it won't happen again, sir. I'll make sure all the doors are locked when I stay late tonight. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> well, maybe you don't need to stay late after all. Didn't you mention a dinner party? Oh, it's too late for that now. I phoned my friends to say I wouldn't be coming. It's a shame, but there we are. Never mind. Good night, sir. <laughs> like I say, I'm very, very sorry. Nighty nighty, Marsha. <laughs> Marsha! I've brought you an invitation from Big Chris. Why doesn't he come and see me himself? I've been wanting a word with him all day. He thinks you're angry with him. That's why he said that. Read it. Angry? <sighs> Please come to the workshop at 8 o'clock for a special surprise. Love Big Chris. What special surprise? One and all the donuts. Oh, something's cooking. So do you all know what to do? <laughs> yes, yes, Ronnie! Ronnie. <laughs> it's nearly eight o'clock. It's nearly eight o'clock. Right, you lot. Let's get set to give Marsha a lovely surprise. Ah, oh, madam! Would madam like to step this way? <laughs> What's this? What's going on? Good evening, Marsha. We've been expecting you. Welcome to Big Chris's Cafe. Oh, <laughs> but this is just fantastic. Oh, is this all for me? It certainly is, love. You know, it's just to say sorry for getting you into trouble with Mr Carberetta. You know, about leaving your office unlocked. I did feel terrible about that. Oh, so that's why you've been avoiding me all day. <laughs> I was trying to find you to say thank you for looking it up for me. You're, you're joking! Oh, 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 that's so... I think you might be needing this, Big Crazy. And now, oh. dinner is served. Here we go, Marsha. Pizza, some of those fancy kebabs. And for afters, we've got donuts. I made it all myself, love. And I've got another surprise for you. Are you ready for this? I'm really very sorry. I didn't want you to worry. I promised <gasps> Ooh, This is very pleasant, isn't it? I really learned my lesson. That's the truth, and I'm not messing. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Very sorry, Marsha Love. Bravo, Big Chris. This is the best dinner party I've ever been to. Just one last course, Marsha. <laughs> oh, the office keys. <laughs> now I definitely won't forget to lock up safely tonight. Roy's idea for throwing a dinner party was the perfect way for Big Chris to say sorry to Marsha. Everyone was friends once more. And Marsha never did forget to lock the office again.